Alright guys, as promised, here is my video of my complete Steelbook collection. Here's an overshot of all of them I got stacked up here. So, let's go ahead and get into this video and uh, show you what I got. Alright, here we go. Let's start here. Um, we'll go in alphabetical order. And uh, all of my Steelbooks are polybagged. You know, keep them safe. I move around a lot, so it's good to prevent them from scratching. So, uh, let's go ahead and get started here. First up, I have the French version of 310 to Yuma. There's the back there. Um, great movie. Beautiful steel book. It's real glossy. I like the cover. You got the guy with his back there. If you haven't checked this movie out, go ahead and pick that up. And next up, I got 300. This is one of the the American re-releases of the Canadian versions. It's the matte finish, no interior artwork. It's got a cool cover, but uh, the, I don't like the finish. I don't like the interior artwork where there's absolutely nothing. Uh, with this one, I'd go with the Digibook. The Digibook is definitely the way to go. Next up, we got Aladdin. It's a Zavi exclusive. It's not... Uh, Aladdin's actually not out in America on Blu-ray. Uh, this is a great steel book. It's a picture of the back there and the front. Uh, it's got that border that a lot of the Zavi exclusives have. Um, it's embossed right here, this outline. Childhood favorite. Definitely one of my favorite movies as a kid. Great Disney movie overall. Uh, let's go ahead and pick that up if you can. I, I had to get this from a member on Blu-ray.com. I didn't, sure didn't pick it up from Zabby. Right. Next up, one of my mini copies of The Amazing Spider-Man here. This is the Best Buy exclusive of the reboot, the Spider-Man franchise. Definitely a good movie. Uh, I gave it a second look not that long ago. I liked it even better the second time. Way better than the Sam Raimi trilogy. I was I just, I just didn't think those ones are that great. Maybe Spider-Man 2, you could say was alright. But the rest, doubtful. Especially 3. Let's not even get started on that one. Next up, I have the Best Buy exclusive, Apocalypse Now. Um, there's the back there. Uh, haven't seen this. Uh, I've owned it on DVD a few times. Just never really got around to watching it. Heard good things about it. I'm going to have to try it. Check this out. One of these days. And next up, we have Battle Royale. Um, I'm not sure which site this is exclusive to. There's a back shot there. Uh, it's a UK edition. Decided to check this out. Uh, I picked this up and Old Boy at the same time for like 50 bucks. Um, been meaning to get around to this. It's on my list to watch soon. Next up, we got Batman Begins, another one of the matte finish and no interior artwork. There's the back there. Batman Begins, great movie, uh, great start to an awesome trilogy. Uh, really one of my favorite movies of all time. But the Steelbook itself is kind of lacking. I didn't pick up the re-release. They released another one with a different cover art. The cover art just wasn't doing it for me, and I knew... No interior artwork, wasn't glossy. I prefer the glossy ones, so I passed on that one, but I got this one still. And next up, we've got Batman The Dark Knight Returns. This is a Target exclusive deluxe edition. It's got that border, like a lot of the UK ones. Uh, then right here is embossed. It came with a few art cards. I lost them somehow. I don't know what I did with them. There's the back. Nice little shot of the Joker and Batman up there. These were surprisingly good. Both of these uh, Dark Knight Returns. I've seen them two or three times now. Great, great animated films. I highly recommend those if you haven't seen them yet. And next up here, the first of my Real Heroes series. The Big Lebowski. It's a back shot there. Um, when these came out, I debated getting them or not because I had a couple of the, the German releases and then I saw that they had some newer ones like this one here, The Big Lebowski. I mean, tell me that's not a cool cover. Comic book style, great movie. I have this on Digibook as well. 
but I couldn't pass on the steel board. It was just too cool. And next up we have Blade. I believe this is a Future Shop edition. I know it's from Canada. Could be Future Shop. One of the uh, first Marvel movies to do good. Uh, I think this came out in 98, 99, something like that. Maybe it would have been 97. 97 or 98. Definitely a nice tone to start out the Marvel movies. Uh, I heard that they're rebooting the series, but I really like these three movies. Even the third one. The third one gets a lot of hate, but I liked it. I thought it was good. And next up here, we have The Book of Eli. Great film. This is one of those steel books, though. There's a back shot of that. Uh, with the no inside artwork, matte finish. But it's a great movie. Great performance by uh, Denzel Washington and Gary Oldman. Next up, we have The Born Identity. This is a Target exclusive. And then there's The Born Supremacy. The back is kind of the same there. Uh, the Born Ultimatum. And The Born Legacy. All four of these are Target exclusives. Great movies. Wasn't big on Legacy. It was decent. Decent at best. And then next up, this is from Italy. Captain America, the first Avenger. I like this this shot better. But it's a cool steel book. This right here is embossed. It's got that border. Great, great movie. Then next up, A Bug's Life. This is a German import. I have the entire series of this. They also came out on DVD. And in the DVD version, they came with uh, Finding Nemo. But when they released them on blue, they didn't do the Finding Nemo, which I was upset about because the Finding Nemo one was really cool. Next up, I just got this yesterday. Captain Phillips. I actually just got through watching this. Great movie. Great movie. Had me at the edge of my seat the entire time. Really good. Just check that out. Next up, Cars. This is part of that German line of Pixar movies. Nice, nice red to it. I like the, the glare on that. And I picked this one up from Walmart, Christmas Story. True classic movie. Uh, I watch this movie multiple times a year. It's definitely one of my favorite movies of all time. And a beautiful steel book. You got Ralphie there on the cover. You got his little brother crying in the background. You know? Next up, another Real Heroes. The Chronicles of Riddick. There's the back there. Seen this once, I gotta give it another watch because I just wasn't really into it. I seen it when it first came out. Next up, we got Clash of the Titans. This is another one of those matte finish and no interior artwork there. Great movie. Uh, watched it a second time. I've, I've seen it two or three times now. I think it's definitely up there with the original. Uh, really good. The sequels, however, we'll get to those later. Okay, this is a Japanese release of The Dark Knight. Got the back art there. Really cool. Mm -hmm. And then I have the American version of The Dark Knight. There's the back art. And this is actually the same artwork as the Amore release. This was a slipcover. And that was the other artwork. Then, we've got here... The Dark Knight Rises, the rain in the background, great movie, uh, I own quite a few copies of that entire trilogy. Another Real Heroes we have here is Death Race, um, haven't seen this one, but I got it to complete the Real Heroes series. The Departed, Best Buy exclusive, no interior artwork on this one as well, great movie. Next up, this is Target exclusive, Django Unchained. Fairly long movie, really good though. We have Doom, part of the Real Heroes. Back artwork. As we all know, this movie wasn't that great at all. Target exclusive, E.T. I like the. Uh, I like how they use the silver. It's almost a, almost a white, but a great steel book. I have this on digital book as well. I couldn't decide which one I wanted, so I got them both. 
Next up, another Christmas classic, Elf. Got this from Walmart. Love the cover. He's excited about seeing Santa there. Back art. Uh, great movie. Elysium, Target exclusive. I like this little back shot. Uh, very good movie. Surprisingly good. Watched this not that long ago. Uh, I believe this is a Future Shop version of Equilibrium. It's a back shot. Christian Bale, Tay Diggs. Decent movie. Uh, here's one of my favorite steel books, Evil Dead, the remake. Um, bad shot there. Uh, I had no plans on getting this movie. I heard it was good. I had never seen the originals, so I went and bought the original, watched it, and then watched the remake. I actually really like the remake. I think it's it's a good horror movie. It's very different than what they're doing now. Next up is the Blue Fans exclusive, Farewell My Concubine. Uh, I bought this on accident. I thought it was the Viva Metal Box, which has yet to be released. So, I have nothing to say about this movie. I don't even know what it's about. I was only getting the Viva Metal Box to complete the Viva Metal Box collection. And then here, we've got Fast and Furious 6. This is the first steel book that I own. And here's the Best Buy exclusive. I think this is the Target exclusive. It came with the soundtrack, so it's either Target or Walmart. And then this is the Best Buy exclusive. No interior artwork. Great movies, though. And next up, this is from Zabby. Foxy Brown. Just a bad shot there. Love Pam Greer. I think she's, she's very gorgeous, even at... 60 years old, however old she is, she's still gorgeous. Yeah, from Walmart, G.I. Joe Retaliation in 3D. Great steelbook. I love that artwork. I love that back shot there of the Cobra. I was always a fan of the Cobras when I was a kid. The movie, however, didn't really do it for me. Um, I wouldn't recommend getting it. Gangs of New York. Wasn't really big on this movie when I watched it, but... I think I got this for fairly cheap when I was just buying up steel books. Leonardo DiCaprio and that. Uh, Best Buy exclusive, Ghost Rider, Spirit of Vengeance. Nice, uh, nice, glossy steel book. Haven't seen it. Then we have Goodfellas here. It's one of the American releases. Another good steel book. I have the digital book as well. Gran Torino, another one of those American shitty releases. There he is on the back of the card. Great movie. Great performance by Clint Eastwood. I just loved it. I was surprised how much I would like it. And we have The Green Lantern, the American re-release of the Best Buy exclusive. There's the back there. I, I thought this movie was decent. It gets a lot of shit. Um... I thought it was alright for a Green Lantern movie. I don't think it was complete shit, but it was good. It wasn't super good, but, you know, it was decent. Right here, we have the first hangover with Carlos there on the front. There's the back shot, the guys with Carlos. Then we have the second one with the little smoking monkey on the back. And I thought Chow Time was on the back of this one, but I guess not. Then we have... Harry Potter and Deathly House Part 1. That's the back. And then we have Part 2. Oh no, this is Part 2. This is Part 1. There's the back. Voldemort. Um, wasn't big on Harry Potter, but I watched all the movies and they were, they were decent. And I only have these two because I didn't own the last two when I bought these, so I figured I might as well go ahead and get the Steelbook versions. Plus, they're cool Steelbooks. Next up here, Play.com Hellboy Exclusive. I just got this. Uh, I've been wanting this one for a while because the cover art matches the director's cut of the DVD version, which I've had for quite a while. I still own that version. It's a pretty cool set, but I like the cover on there. Then next up, Real Heroes. This is the German edition of Hellboy 2. Uh, as you can see there, the 
title is in German. Uh, I love both of these movies. I like Guillermo del Toro. I think he's a great director. Next up, uh, I think this is German as well. Hellraiser, part one through three. There's the back, just print. Got this for cheap. I think I got it for like 15 bucks. Something like that. And we have Hero, Best Buy exclusive. I have yet to see this. All right. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take a break there. Look for uh, part two of this collection update. It should be up very soon. So if you like this video, like, leave a comment, subscribe. Uh, I got plenty more videos coming. All right, have a nice day.